A hundred percent of people have failed in their life. Anyone from Tom Brady to Bill Gates, everyone will have to deal with failure and everyone will have to understand what it really feels like. As far as school goes, I feel like the hardest part is failing because of procrastination and really not even trying to do well. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that chemistry isn't really the easiest class and last year around midterms, I definitely followed these three steps on how to fail and then get over it. So the first step is actually failing. This might sound pretty easy, but actually a lot goes into it. First, you have to not pay attention at all, especially when the teacher tells you when the test is and when they're going over everything on it. You have to convince yourself that you're going to ask someone when the test is and what's on it and really get the information so you can do well. You have to definitely not study. You have to set a certain amount of time for yourself to study so you think you're going to do well, but then just watch Netflix or do something else, but definitely don't do the studying you said you're going to do. When the test actually comes around, you have to look at it like no one ever told you about this and that this is all crap. The teacher never taught any of this. But you kind of know that you didn't even try to figure out what was going to be on the test. Step two is understanding the failure. So when you don't know anything on the test, you're obviously going to fail and you're not going to do very well. So you're probably going to get mad. And you can't really blame anybody but yourself because you didn't study, you didn't even try to study. So you have to get over that short period of time that you're going to be mad and really take responsibility for failing a test because it's your fault. You can try to blame it on the teacher, try to blame it on somebody else, but it's not their fault. Step three is getting over it and being okay with the failure. You have to realize that failure isn't always a bad thing. You can use it to motivate you. You have to convince yourself that you're actually going to study next time, not just watch Netflix. You have to eventually forget about it because there's going to be more tests in the future that you're probably going to do bad on and a lot that you're going to do good on. You have to turn it into something that's good. You can't dwell on a bad grade. The best way to really be okay with a failure is get better from it and turn it into a turning point or something that motivates you to not let it happen again. Like I said, everyone's had to deal with failure. You just have to turn it into something good and not let it be a negative, but turn it into a positive.